you know, ever since I visited Cantillon and uh, I think that was 2012 for the first time, you know, I'd had their beer many times prior to actually visiting. But once I had visited there, I really wanted to see if it could be done in, in, in Texas. You know, there's a certain kind of level of like mysticism and magic about, you know, Brussels and the Zeta Valley. And, you know, I wanted to see like, I mean, sure, of course, there's microorganisms all around the world. But, you know, once you get outside of that lambic uh, region, could you make spontaneously fermented beer and then have it taste good, you know, an ocean away? You know, we, we kind of knew that it was possible because we weren't the first in the United States to, to try it. Allagash, as far as I'm aware, at least in modern brewing history, is the first uh, brewery to you know do 100% spontaneously fermented beer using a cool ship and having it you know, really turn out beautifully. You know, they're in a northern latitude, not too far from the same latitude as, as Brussels. So our big question was, as you go much further south to Texas, you know, would spontaneous fermentation work in an environment that is really quite hot for most of the year? We do get some temperatures uh, near freezing, uh, especially this time of year, kind of December, January, February. So chilling the wort proved not to be a problem, uh, at least for this narrow window of cold weather we get in Texas. Our bigger, biggest thing would be, you know, would the microbes that uh, exist in the Texas winter be conducive to making good beer? Thankfully, in our experience, they they absolutely are. I mean, while we get plenty of failed batches, we get enough fermentations, spontaneous fermentations that are quite, quite pleasant to our palates. 